Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode of the Australian People's Republic here in our Kami Aussie playthrough. On the last episode, we did manage to um, progress along. The national focus is just a little bit. We increased also our war, our economy to make it of early mobilization, a little bit of a war economy. And we are now set to select another national focus. But first, thank you for coming. If you do like this series, click on that thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Again, this is only going to be for 12 episodes. Uh, so let me know if you want this to continue past 12 episodes. Um, and to see some of the conclusion. I don't know if we're going to get to war within those 12 episodes. But I think that we should if I play my cards correctly here. So let's go right into setting the national focus. I think that we should go with the Civilian Construction Corps. As I said before, um, this allows us to get the Allied Work Council, which gives us four factories, four civilian factories for infrastructure. This research slot would also be good, but um, that's only um, 210 days away. It's, it's about a year away. Actually, well, three quarters away, I guess, if you think of it that way. Um, nine months. So we can do, we, we'll deal with that that way. I don't know why I said that that way. Deal with it that way. You know, we'll just deal with it. I've been investing pretty heavily in this, but I think that we should... Hmm. Factory output. Max factories in a state. See what else we should be worrying about. Oh man, we don't even have up to date ships. Okay, well, let's let's focus on that. Whoops. So we're out there running around sixteen year old ships. I didn't even realize that. Canberra class, isn't that a? Uh... I guess you just you can't tell until you go in there. And I think it would be good. Oh no, I gotta I have to get done with the citizen military forces. Forgot about that. All right, we still have the Great Depression. So I just don't know how to get rid of that. And if you've already answered in the comments how to get rid of it, you know, just remember that this is being pre-recorded. I, I do, and I would be appreciative if someone told me. I just, yeah, I just don't know how you deal, how you get rid of that. I don't think there's really much to do that we can do here in the government. Let's worry about, though, I would think that infantry equipment design designer would be a smart way to go here. Lithgow Small Arms Factory. And I did already do that uh, national focus. Or I will. Oh, then we can expand it. Well, if I have it, then it will be good to expand it. That would just be better for a role play point of view. Remote reservists. Royal Australian Artillery. Which would be kind of funny if we do that after we become communists. It wouldn't be royal anymore. Yeah, yeah, I gotta send a delegation to China then. One of these days. Hmm. You know, one of the fun things about this is to, that I like about Hearts of Iron 4 is that you are able to really shape the world. Like in, our, in the Mexico, my fascist Mexico playthrough, it was really, you know, Mexico kind of took the lead while we were taking over South America with, with American blood. I mean, we really led the way in the Pacific then after that as the AI just didn't understand how to do naval invasions. But, you know, that's what they probably fixed in this one. Um, okay, so now we're going to get the computing machine, which is 
minus 30% time to research, so that is good. But it, it was good from a role play where America just seemed to be content with itself, you know, content to hold on to these lands. Um, there was a fascist uprising in Canada, even though they decided to stay with Great Britain. They didn't join us. Um, it was still it was still a very good and interesting playthrough. Okay, so now that we got that, we can do the Allied Works Council. Get our four free factories. Let's see how our construction's going. Full speed ahead, yes. Coming oil independent. Almost knocked over my rum and soda there. Which would have been really bad, to tell you the truth. Because it's in a glass cup, too. Not just I would have got an alcoholic beverage all over the place, but, eh, you know, that not, would not have been good. So when does it stop being low manpower? That's what I want to know. It can lead to situations where our, desert, where our divisions can no longer reinforce and fight. It's always a bad thing. So all these, all these factories, all they're doing is getting ready for to just bigger and better infrastructure. Now, where are we trading for? Rubber? Aluminum, that's right. So, yeah. As I said, um, I think it was in the last episode, I am using the uh, more historical flags uh, pack by... Idea? I forget. It's on the Steam Workshop. Uh, so yes, you do see the the regular uh, Nazi uh, National Socialist flag of Germany there with the with the swastika. So I apologize if you are in Europe and your country doesn't allow that, but you will see that on this playthrough. I don't know why I have it selected still, but I just thought to keep it. I mean, it, out of all the mods I have, um, the colored buttons. And the map pack are the only two that have been updated so far for Together for Victory. And I wonder if, you know, come tomorrow, uh, which would be the Monday after release, if that's when all of them are going to get updated. I know that one of the mods I want to to show, guys, show you guys on the channel, um, the Confederate States mod, that uh, he is working... Uh, diligently to get that thing updated, and he's giving, giving me permission to, to show a Let's Play of it. I hope to do a little bit more form on that. I hope to create a trailer uh, for that in some way, or more of an explanation of the timeline between um, where where his his alternate history uh, deviates from our alternate from our history. Fall of Nanjing, capital of the Republic of China. Uh, Nanjing has been occupied by the forces from the Empire of Japan. Despite fierce resistance from the walled city's Chinese defenders, Japanese troops managed to capture Zhongshan Gate and fight their way into the city. Sporadic gunfire can still be heard, and several fires are raging in different parts of the city, but most surviving Chinese forces have either withdrawn or been captured. Along with the capture of Shanghai, this is a significant victory for Japan in their war against China. Yeah, they're just plowing ahead. Which usually happens here. So hopefully I'm, I should complete that uh, that national focus where I send a delegation to China before the uh, communist Chinese are overrun. But it is the next one to do. Not fighting war on the same side, so I do need that um, where I leave the allies. So we could impose our lordship. Interesting. Threat against the people. Uh, gains puppet war goal against Japan. Interesting. Oh, I didn't realize I was paused. So we're able to become free, like I said, if we want to, but we're still leeching off of the, the Commonwealth uh, technology sharing. That together for victory allows us, so that's always good. Uh, 
All right, how are we? Oh, we're still here because I had it paused. That's right. Yeah, I got a lot to do. This is how it normally ends up. Infrastructure never gets done until you're you're at war and you need to build infrastructure, like in places like this where it's only one. At least it's two up here in Papua. Come on, people, get with it. At least I want that refinery built. I mean, that's going to really help us out. Well, it's going to be built soon here, September. I guess I don't really need the Queensland one, but I, I'll use that. Uh, I'll do that as well. Okay, you got that. There's some new stuff. And we'll move up Central Australia next. So now it's going to get done in August. Excellent. End of the month, we'll get it done. All right, now on to... There we go. Army Inventions Directorate. So that'll give us an extra slot that would be able to greatly help us in our research. We can start researching some more military um, focuses. I wonder if I should keep up with the Navy. Probably, as we're going to need the Navy to, to get out there. But that's why that extra slot's going to come in handy, as it's going to allow us to, to get get some of those things as we need to focus on the military now as we're moving into 1938 and moving closer towards war. So having that extra uh, research slot will allow us to to really help that because right now we're only strapped two. One of them's got to be focused on keeping us up to date, both industrial uh, in an industry sense and in a, an electronic sense. And then having two there for both the Navy and the Army, I think that really helps out. I, I never really focus on the Air Force. I mean, it is something to have. It is something to produce, but it's not, I mean, it's necessary from an air superiority point of view. But, you know, when you're strapped for stuff, you kind of have to let things go by the wayside. And usually it's the Air Force. All right, there we go. Uh, we don't really need any battleships. Fourth International. number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference, laying the groundwork for what has been known as the Fourth International. Calls for its formation have existed for years, with supporters of Trotsky's theories taking the lead. Stalin has responded to this growing support for Trotskyism abroad by ordering additional assassinations and increasing propaganda against his old rival. With the past purges of suspected... Trotskyists in the high rank of the Soviet military and leadership. In recent memory, this is likely to be met. This is unlikely to be met with any resistance. Are we gonna go? I don't know. Uh, should we focus on a battleship? I feel like it's gonna take a long time for us. Where that could be better served. With like having real military, having real artillery. Yeah, why don't we research that instead? I know I just said focusing on the Navy there, but let's be realistic. I get, you know, immediate impact stuff. I don't know what really the best course of action there is, but it is what it is. Munich Agreement. German demands for the Sudeten territory in Czechoslovakia have intensified as a summit held in Munich, Germany. Britain, France, and Italy sought to find a diplomatic solution to the so-called crisis. Czechoslovakia was not invited. They're going to access the Sudetenland, but will pursue any further territorial gains. It's always funny. Well, we didn't really invite you, Czechoslovakia. We just sort of told them that they're going to take stuff from you. So, you know, hey, live with it. It's going to make peace in Europe. You're going to be fine with it. Everything's going to be happy. Didn't work out that way. Once you give a mouse a cookie, they always want something else. In Nazi Germany was the mouse. Pretty sure I'm not the first person to make that comparison. But it is true. 
All right, let's look here. Uh, well, we're getting done. Getting it done. Organization. Yeah, let's go with organization. Army Keterin Corps? Wow, that's a lot of crazy stuff I have to research here in the technology tree. I don't know if I'm up to the challenge, but I'm going to do it. Hopefully I'm going to do it, I should say. I mean, this isn't the, the, the beginning stages. If you're not playing Britain, France, um, or Germany, Japan, China, Communist China, if you're not playing those, eh, the beginning game's really slow. I guess, or Italy. Ethiopia, that'd have a, um, that would have an interesting beginning. But, uh, yeah. Squash the squander bugs? What the hell? Oh, national unity goes up. All right, so let's focus on, let's send the Chinese, let's send the delegation of the Chinese, and then we'll go back to the defense um, forces. Ooh, good. Ooh, lots of stuff to research. Decryption. Mm, let's go with radar stations. Check out the military tech. Oh, yeah. Yeah, research that stuff. Not going to take that long. I guess we should invest in a... No, we don't have enough here, but... Oh, that's right. It's only air warfare. Well, I guess with the Navy, though, that's going to help out with, with updating our Navy. So we should get that naval theorist. Excuse me. Excuse me. Damn. Yeah, so we'll we'll focus on that. So if you're wondering what's happening, uh my my laptop is good, but it's not the best there. Uh so what's happening is that uh, it can it, it's not like it can just barely, but it it adequately runs both my capture software and Hearts of Iron 4. So if you see that where it's uh the frame rate frame rates dropping, it's you're just gonna have to learn to live with it with the grand strategy nerd. I apologize if I had the money for a better laptop, I would definitely get one. Um, but uh, it is what it is. You know, if you want to help me towards that, you can obviously give to my Patreon. Uh, giving just a, a little as just one dollar a month uh, helps out tremendously and allow me to to improve, uh, improve the channel and improve my own equipment. That's just a little blurb. Uh, one about my Patreon page, but also let you know what's going on, why it, why it jerks every now and then. We were just sort of chilling out here. Maybe we should send some other people up here. Send a cab unit. Send them there. And these guys, 2nd Infantry Division. We'll send them as well. Just start reinforcing that border, you know, just in case who knows what these Dutch are going to do. I certainly don't. All right, now we're working on that Central Australia infrastructure. Beautiful. You know, I think that's really going to help us out. We're going to set these guys on their way. Takes forever to get into port, apparently. All right, everybody. Well, we're going to end it here. I thank you all for watching this episode of the Australian People's Republic. Thank you for supporting me, the Kami Aussie. I'm not, Austra I'm not Australian, but uh, thank you for supporting the 
the series itself. Like I said, if, if I have a great response to this and a lot of people ask me to, I will continue this past 12 episodes. If not, we're just going to end this at 12 episodes and, and on to something else. Uh, so thank you once again for watching. If you do like it, click on that thumbs up. Share this around the internet. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Or if you want me to name a division after you, I will get to it in time. And if uh, you are new here and watch the whole thing, thank you for watching. Go ahead and click on that red subscribe button. Let me know that I'm doing a great job and you want to see more Grand Strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Till next time, everyone. Good night and good luck. <laughs>